Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. There, there are some intruders. I don't know who the intruders are, but there are intruders who have been six, uh, have been sending Trojans into my computer, and they have uh, interrupt interrupt my attempts to make broadcasts. Find it quite interesting. Well, I guess uh, if it's that important for I don't know. Who, what, I, I call it the opposition. If the opposition has to do these type of things, then the opposition must be nervous. And if the opposition is nervous, then that's to my benefit, whoever the opposition is. I remember when I was broadcasting in the U.S., I broadcasted in... Uh, I broadcast in, in Boston, Massachusetts, and, and in Providence, Rhode Island. What I, I would do is I would catch the train in Providence or catch the train in Boston and travel to one city to, to the other. And I would give broadcasts. Whatever I would find interesting, I would talk about it. When I first started YouTubing, and that was like a, that, was, that was less than, well, about a, a little less than two years ago when I first started YouTubing. And uh, I started, in, I would travel from Boston, Massachusetts, South Station, the, the train and bus station in Boston, to Providence, Rhode Island, which is another state in another city, and two different communities. And they are, you know, you in what you know that you in one, you you know that you in different communities when you go from one place to the other. And there was an opposition. I had an opposition in, uh, I had an opposition in, in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I, I'll consider my U.S. opposition. And basically, usually when, when I do a broadcast, I basically, like, none of my broadcasts are rehearsed. Uh, all my broadcasts, when, when, I, when you see me speaking, that's what I have to say. It's, it's just that it's, there's a, something that happens within me, like, I call it motivation. And when I get this motivation, I want to get, I want to get, get on my computer and talk to somebody. And what technology has given us the YouTube era, where almost anyone can get a YouTube station. If you want to talk to somebody, just get your YouTube station and just start talking. And, and, and I think it's good for the mind. I think it's good because anyone can do this. Anyone, if you have an issue and you just want to sell the issue, sitting in front of the computer talking to yourself, I think it. I, I think it helps out psychologically. So, but, so I started off in Boston, Massachusetts, in Providence, Rhode Island, and I would talk about anything, anything that would come to mind, and I found it quite psychologically. Uh, uh, I, I, you know, I was a psychological release. I would get a chance to look at myself on the computer, talking about the, the issues that concern me. And then the best thing about it is that when you find out you have issues and you find out that other people have issues similar to yours and you say, oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not. there are other people like me. And that's the encouragement that makes me want to get in front of the computer and just talk, talk, talk when I'm motivated. And the thing is, earlier today, uh, I did a I did a, a video. I mean, I was talking for thirty minutes, talking about all type of issues that I was concerned about. And then I played the video. There was no sound. There was no sound. And then I, well, you know, we we, we, we have these applications that we have on our computer that you know when someone is trying to uh, get into your computer. And, and, you know, it's like the doctors, you know, in other words, I have these doctors, you know, in, in the, embedded in my computer. And, they, and what has happened is I was told that there were Trojans. They said it was severe. I know when I was, uh, when I first came to Africa, which is only uh, about two months ago, I was in Rwanda. 
And I remember I was I was on my computer and I was trying to do this and do that. I said, what is going on here? I can do I, I discovered but I discovered earlier before I left US that actually a person can be in China or he can be in Alaska and he can actually control your computer. You sitting in Timbuktu and he's sitting in uh, uh, France. He can actually get control of your computer. So uh, I said, wow, with this type of technology, you, you know, you say, wow, this is heavy, heavy, heavy. But the only thing that bothers me is that those people who, who, who get in, who, who are able to get into your computer and do what they want to do, there's something, there's an issue. There's an issue. It's an issue of ethics. And it's an issue of morality. And an issue of patriotism. Where am I going? I'm going. I'm, I'm going into the, the, the. I'm going into basically the discussions that I generally deal with. Basically, my, my discussions are, are, are basically discussions of ethics, and I I use the, I understand this theory as something like a, as a um, say, stimulus because I'm I'm so excited about the things that came about when we, 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 when we talk about Einstein's theory of E equals MC squared, we can talk about many things. It, it, you can talk about many things. Uh, and so I'm aroused by that theory. And the thing is, by looking at that theory, I see a sociological angle to that scientific theory and I'm just I'm trying to bring it all together. Now where am I going? I'm going to the issue of morality. That's where I'm trying to get to. I want to get to the issue of morality. I want to get I want to get to the issue of Western morality. I want you to bring it even I won't even narrow it down, even that I want to get into the morality of my homeland. My homeland, I'm an American. And, and I am concerned about my homeland. Let's see what's going on in my homeland. And let's see what's going on in the world. And let's see what's going on with the concept of morality. I think what has happened in America is that we have failed to look at the human entity. We have come, come up with, we have learned so much of, in, in these technological, I mean, going to Mars and all these technological advances that, that, that we have in the West. But it's one thing that I find quite traumatic. And that's how the normal citizen, the, the normal human citizen of America, just a normal man, what happens to this man, the normal human being? Where am I going? I've traveled all over the United States of America. I've lived in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Detroit, Houston. I was born in Alabama. I was educated in New England. And I've traveled and lived on both sides of the north, south, east, and west of the U.S. And when I see the things that are happening to the U.S. I mean, my, 
Okay, the United States is, 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 is a first world country. But why, why, would we, why is it that when we travel to Los Angeles, California, and you, people, you see people sleeping on the street? I mean, you, you see people in Beverly Hills in California, USA, sleeping in tents. You travel to Las Vegas, Nevada, and you see people sleeping on the street. You go to Long Beach, California, people are sleeping on in the street, Americans. I mean, it's it's like it's it's like a it's a epidemic, a epidemic, a epidemic of homelessness, homelessness in America. The home of the free, you know, the home of the free and the home of the brave. You, 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 if you travel throughout America, and America is a world power, that, that's my question. It has a nuclear bomb. Yes, it has a nuclear bomb. So does North Korea. North Korea has a nuclear bomb. But when you travel throughout America and seeing people living on the street, babies, and mamas, the homelessness. Wait, what is going on in America? What is going on in America? I think it has something to do, to do with attitude. I mean, you, you have people who are extremely rich in America. They call themselves Americans. Yet they allow their fellow countrymen to sleep on the street. I mean, not just in Los Angeles. Not just in Las Vegas, not just in Detroit, any major city that you can travel to in the U.S., there's a guarantee that you're going to find a whole lot of homeless people living in tents and strung out on drugs. That, that is a reality. And the question is why? Why? With the, with the wealth that America claims that it has. How American, why American, will you allow your citizens to sleep on the street? They have no concern for life. You, you have people who actually, in Boston, Massachusetts, I spent a whole year in Boston. You have people in, in Boston, it's, 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 it's I remember when I was very young, Boston was considered one of the educational capitals of the world, Boston, Massachusetts, New England, you know, Harvard, MIT, schools like that, Boston University. The home, I mean, it, 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 when I was young, Boston was the educational capital of the world. And if you go to Boston now, Massachusetts, and I just left there, you have people sleeping on the streets, sleeping in doorways. And if you just walk the streets of Boston like I did, and you see piles and piles of needles that the drug users, I mean, everywhere, you just walk the streets and just look here and look there, and you see all these needles, these needles that people use to, to inject drugs. And it's everywhere, and people live in tents. The, the, the women and their babies. People sleep on the sidewalk in America. What is going on? What is going on in America? America is, is in a depression, in that depression is based on the lack of morality, immorality. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there was a president of the United States of America. His ancestry derives from Kenya. This president 
of America, this president of the United States of America. He legalized sodomy. Sodomy, it was legalized in America. by a man of Kenyan descent. Now, let's talk about sodomy. Let's talk about sodomy. Okay, if you read the Bible, it, it speaks of sodomy. It speaks of uh, the, uh, you, uh, the many times you, you see keep the sodomite. I haven't actually sat down and read the Bible like I used to. But I do remember that there were issues of sodomy in the biblical times. And there was a way that the civilized culture related to the idea of sodomy. And I think that what has happened in America is that the general population is saying we have we can accept that which the Bible we're a Christian nation. America is, not, is is basically a Christian nation. Basically, you know, you, know, you have Muslims and, and Jews and all, what or Hindus, but basically America is a Christian nation, right? So, when you open up your Bible in America and you read about sodomy, how are you, how are you to digest that when your government says that sodomy is legal? Okay, sodomy is legal, All right? Let's talk about the act of sodomy. Let's talk about the purpose of sodomy. First, let's talk about the act. Sodomy is an act where the sex organ, well, you, well a, a woman doesn't, her sex organ is like, is like this. <laughs> That's the woman's sex organ. And, but the man's sex organ is like this. So the man, his organ goes into her like that, okay? But sodomy is when, okay, this is the male organ, and then this is the anus. So that means that sodomy allows, sodomy basically, the, the, the nature of sodomy is that the penis of the man goes into the ass of its recipient. It may be a woman's ass or it may be a man's ass, but the recipient of the penis is an anus. Okay? Now, when we use the penis and it, and it interacts with the vagina, there's a reason for that. See, there's a reason for the penis to interact with the vagina. That's to procreate, procreate the continuation of the species. Procreation. See, we have to look at procreation in the human in, in the human entity. Procreation is a divine is a divine act because what, what is happening in procreation? Another human being is being created, and so. As it was designed, see, we say God, we say nature, but how, but how it came about, what is it all about? It's about the preservation of the species. Okay, 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 okay. We have a test tube, baby, science. And as I understand, you, you're making a, you're procreating. Where you not you may not necessarily need the vagina. All you need is this. Well, I don't. I, I think of, I'm, I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but as I think of the test tube baby, I think it has something to do with sperm fertilizing an egg. 
And that egg does not necessarily have to be inside a vagina. So they call it a test tube baby. That's science. And I don't know, I'm not a doctor. No, no, no or, or, or a scientist, but I think I, this is my imagination of a, of a, a test tube baby. You get a sperm and you get an egg, and some kind of way you bring them together, and then you perform a baby. You get a baby, and that, and I, I think the baby can be, and I may be wrong. I think the baby can develop outside of the womb with the type of technology and science that we have today. Okay, and maybe that's the problem. Science and technology. But let's, let's get back to the penis and the vagina. Okay. The, to, the natural way to procreate is for the, the penis to go into the vagina and to dispel sperm and to fertilize an egg. Okay. And then, of course, it's quite interesting. For a man to get rid of uh, water, or to get rid of impurities, then urine, this the same instrument, the penis, it allows the urine to get rid of impurities. And it's quite inter interesting about the vagina, the same thing with the vagina. Impurities, that hole in, in between a woman's leg, it, is, it allows for those impure, impurities, urine, to leave the body. So both men and women have the, the the, the, the two organs, the vagina and the penis, both man and woman have used those organs for two reasons. To reproduce and to get rid of waste. Okay? It's a natural event throughout nature. Well, I, I think when you go and when you really study all type of Animals, you know, microscopic animals, you get into other things or whatever. I'm, I'm only talking about the human being. I'm talking about us. The human being. I'm talking about us. The human being. Okay? Now, the penis goes into the vagina. Okay? Fertilizes the egg. Okay? And then we procreate that way. Okay? We have to understand that the sex act, the sex act is not something casual. It's the most divine act that man and woman can, 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 uh, can um, do. Because what, what are we doing in the sex act? We are procreating. We are maintaining the species. And it's, we have to regard the sex act as a sacred act because we are actually creating another human being. So, we as human beings, we were designed a certain way to do certain things with the parts that we have. Okay? Let's talk about sodomy. Here's the penis. Now, I think that when you when you're talking about sodomy, you need a penis. You need a penis. I think. I, I think you need a penis if you're going to be talking about sodomy. Because I don't think a vagina can do anything. See, a, a, a vagina. All a vagina does is receive the penis. But in the act of sodomy. You need a penis, and you need an ass, okay? Okay, so let's look at the act of sodomy. The penis goes into the ass like this, right? Okay, now what happens when, when the penis, when the penis goes into the ass like that? What, okay, the way the human body is designed, there is nothing, okay, when that penis part releases, it, it gets, gets this good feeling. It's not doing anything on the other side. It's just shooting up stuff 
in the ass. It's just shooting stuff in the ass. There's nothing there that you're getting but sensation. So, what is the purpose of sodomy? The purpose of sodomy is getting a good sensation. A good sensation. And that's all. Okay. A children created is does it solve a health problem? But sodomy doesn't solve a health problem. He creates a health problem. Okay. Now let's look. What is the aim is used for? For excrements or for both the man and the woman. What is the anus used for? It's, I think the anus is only basically designed for excrements, for things to come out. I don't think things are supposed to go into the, the anus, but the, it's, a, it's a way of getting rid of, getting rid of waste, getting rid of waste. That's the purpose of the anus. Okay. So, if we go to the Bible, it's, and okay, let's say we're Christian, and we go to the Bible, it speaks against sodomy. It says sodomy is not morally, morally correct. Okay, so here you are. You have a nation. You have a nation like the United States of America. Or you have the Western European countries who follow suit, who, who do the same thing as USA. And you have a country like the United States of America. And your leadership say to you, what you read in your spiritual book, it means nothing. Have a good time with your ass. So what happens? Go to America. Go to every part of America. Go to Los Angeles. Go to Philadelphia. Go to Baltimore. Go to New York. Go to Detroit. Go to Dallas. Go to Las Vegas. You got people sleeping on the street. You got people shooting up drugs in their arms. The people, let me show you what the, how bad the insanity is. There's a drug they use in, in, in these homeless communities where people sleep on the street, sleep in the tent in all parts of America. That's a drug that you, you can mix with the. I said, I don't know too much about the drug. I said, I, I, there's a drug that they're taking up, but there's another drug that you can mix with this drug that they're taking. It has something to do with animals or something. A drug that you use with animals. Look. You have people in America living on the streets and they take this, this chemical and they shoot it up their arms and their arms rot off sores and they continue to shoot this. What is going on? It's like, it's, it's what it's called, suicidal. You know that if you keep shooting this thing in your arm, your arm is going to rot off. You have millions of America. Millions of Americans on the street sleeping in, the, in these homeless shelters. Suicide in America. Damn. And the American diplomats come to Africa and they say that. If you want to be our friend, if you want us to assist you, you must accept the act of sodomy. And it tells us people the same thing. You must accept the act of sodomy.
Oh my god, is there trouble? America is in serious trouble. This is who saw Matt Jr. Sign off in Nairobi, Kenya.